What do you make of Uncle Sam as a hodler? Howdy hodlers, we hope you enjoyed the long weekend and got to touch a little grass, sand or lake water. Just when you thought 2023 couldn't get any more bizarre, last week, US dollar stablecoins started ditching the currency to which they are pegging their value. Crypto cold storage mainstay ledger faces massive backlash and the US government as one of the largest BTC whales out there? Last week, Week in Miami at Bitcoin 2023, presidential candidate hopefuls made their coming out at the conference. What other conference in the world could you ever imagine having a Democrat and a Republican coming out at the same place? Welcome to The Recap, where we bring you the most important and interesting news nuggets of the week. The regulatory forward US dollar stablecoin option USDC has opted to further reduce counterparty risk following a scary episode where a large portion of their US dollar reserves were jeopardized by the recent collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. USDC announced last week that they were replacing all of their US treasuries with repo money agreements. You can think of the repo market as a sort of pawn shop for US treasuries. Repo is short for repurchase agreement. Basically, when markets lose trust in the full faith and credit of the US, they go to private overnight repo markets just to play it a little more safe. The irony that a digital asset is distressed trustful of the underlying currency to which it is ostensibly pegging its value is lost on no one. Circle, the issuer of USDC, has enacted this drastic policy change not because of the ongoing banking crisis or the precarious unpredictability of the Federal Reserve's monetary policy, which caused it, but to protect USDC's dollar reserves from a potential debt ceiling related government default. Hmm. Speaking of Uncle Sam, apparently they are now one of the largest Bitcoin whales, but not in the way that we're all hoping for. The US government holds billions of seized Bitcoin from criminal investigations. But US Senator Cynthia Lummis and the Secret Service, among others, agree that Bitcoin is a godsend to law enforcement due to the open and permissionless nature of its network. Finally, Ledger launched a new crypto key recovery product to much consternation. Whether or not there are indeed bad backdoor risks to the new Ledger firmware code, many hardened Ledger users have taken to Twitter to voice their displeasure. And they're certainly not waiting around to find out. Finally, BTC, still with a market share of about 47%, is up about 1% on the week, while Ethereum is up about 2.5%. Check out the weekly recap at ndax.com forward slash blog for links to any of the stories covered above. Start your free account at ndax.io today.